Bishop's Land Educational Trust is set in the heart of the British countryside. Its mission is simple, train the next generation of silversmiths and jewellers and equip them with the skills to be able to sell their own creations, whatever they may be. It was set up by Penelope Makawa and her husband Oliver. The universities don't really do what we're doing in the way of teaching for silver. Now, now I've come away from the, the workbench, very sorry to her, but in a way, it's more important to help the young people and give them a career in life that they're really passionate about. The Trust was set up 26 years ago by Penelope and Oliver, and since then it's grown exponentially. The current intake number 14 self-employed makers who spend 12 months eating, sleeping and breathing right here in Bishop's Land. Because it's a residency programme, the students spend the entire year focused on nothing but their craft. Today they're getting a special masterclass from Bishop's Land Fellow and Didi Akubia. She was one of the students in 1997 and has since become one of the most successful silversmiths in the UK, even being awarded an MBE honour from the Queen. And Didi is teaching her students hammering techniques. Every maker I've ever met has their way of doing things. So even though they may have been taught in a traditional way, they have adapted or um, moved the designs or moved the making into something to tell their story, whatever that is. I think people just uh, like to have objects that no, um, means something to them. With only a few months of their course left, the students have begun to develop their own styles. I think it's so important for me to be here because that gives you the opportunity to develop um, my own style. So I've sort of, you, we've learned so many more. We've had lots of master classes where we can, there's things that I didn't have the time to do when I was at university, like engraving and chasing the pousse and, and raising. As a maker, I'm kind of a romantic storyteller. The narrative is still very important. So my background, the kind of conceptual background is there. Um, and I really try to catch uh, memories, try to catch uh, forgotten stories, things that tend to fade in time and um, I really want to help people uh, carry those precious moments. Well I'm quite interested in doing kind of these fabricated forms at the moment which are made from uh, silver sheet. So at the moment I'm just trying to flatten off all these sides because we're heating them so much they kind of tend to warp. So there's quite a lot of work involved in kind of trying to file them really flat and straight. And I'm quite interested in these kind of minimalistic forms that are quite kind of clean and sharp. Metalwork is an ancient craft and like many other traditional crafts, it's at risk of falling out of favour as technology develops. But with silversmithing, the joy is in the fact that each piece is unique. Former student Rachel Jones now works part-time as the workshop manager. With silversmithing, you are always learning. There's so many techniques and there are lots of experts out there. Um, but there are few that are absolute masters. And Bishop's Land always strives to have those teach the next generation of silversmiths. So we do masterclasses with chasing, repousse, um, engraving, enamelling, you know, all those key skills that aren't taught in university anymore. Organisations like Bishop's Land are rare. It's a charity and most of the students attending do so via scholarships. The fellows are often invited back to teach and to help new graduates. 
Since it launched 26 years ago, around 200 silversmiths from all over the world have been through its doors. New technologies may jeopardize traditional silversmithing, but places like Bishopsland are determined to keep this ancient craft alive. Miranda Atty, TRT World, Dunstan, South Oxfordshire.